This is Thai class for non-Thai students by Ms. Pim, and, th and this is part of our learning. And today we're going to be making kue wachi. My name is V, and this is about Thai bananas. Thai bananas are sweet when ripe. Their textures are much more dense compared to the normal Cavendish bananas. This is why Thai people use them for, gr for grilling, frying, and cooking. You can find them being sold under the names Lukase or Kayinja and also different names in neighboring countries. My name is Nadi and this is Emeril. We're gonna talk about Khoi Bo Chi. Khoi Bo Chi or banana and coconut milk is basically soft banana cooked in coconut milk. It's a traditional Thai dessert that can be eaten any time of the day because, because it contains high nutrients, a good source of carbs, high vitamins and minerals, and it's also a good source for dietary fiber. It only takes about 20 minutes to cook, and the taste is very coconutty, pleasantly sweet, and highly nutritious. This dessert is called kue buchi because kuai means banana, buot, ordain, and chi means none. This is basically saying that banana looks like an ordain none after it is dressed with coconut milk. This is usually served in a lot of ce celebration, but is also eaten in a normal day. This is also served in a lot of countries like Myanmar, Malaysia, and other countries. This is what kue wachi is. Hi, my name is Sayan and I'm going to tell the ingredients to how, how to make kue wachi. So we need banana kue, coconut milk tea, sugar nam dan, but some people also use palm sugar which is nam dan beef. And we need salt kue and last pandan leaf with spice. By Thai. Hi, I'm Ali and this is Kahila and we're going to show you how to cook Clyde Bachi. First, you will tie a pan and leaf into a knot and add it into the mixture of coconut milk and hot water and you will boil it over medium heat. Meanwhile, peel the bananas and cut them into six pieces. Add the bananas into the boiling uh, coconut milk and cook until they get softer. Then you will take coconut sugar, white sugar, and salt and add it into the mixture and stir until it is well combined. Cook for five more minutes over medium heat. 